Okay, this is page 53. Well, it's 53 because 52 was the page before. Alright, page 53, cards of similar triangles. First of all, we have three new vocab words. Three new vocab words. Some of them you've heard before, but it's been a while. We have altitudes, bisectors, and medians. These are all referring to triangles. Let me refresh you on what these mean. An altitude, just draw a triangle, I mean draw an arrow to show, focus on this triangle. If you've ever been on a flight and the plane takes off and then all of a sudden you go from feeling like you're, you know, increasing your height above the ground to where you feel like it levels out and the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign and says, we are currently cruising at an altitude of 34,000 feet, whatever. Altitude means what? Your height above sea level, right? Um, so in a triangle, the altitude can be dropped from any corner of the triangle and it's going to go straight down to the side opposite of it at a right angle. I'm going to call it little a for altitude. So think of altitude as the height of a triangle. And once again, it can be dropped from any corner. It will just go to the opposite side. Okay? Bisectors, if you recall, bisect means cutting in half. Right? If you have an angle that has a segment coming out of it to the opposite side, in a way that the angle has been cut in half. Mine's not drawn very well. I'm trying to draw it to where they're even. So this angle has been cut in half. That angle is equal to that angle. Then that line is called a bisector. That segment would be called a bisector because it just took that angle and it cut it into two equal parts. This angle would be equal to this angle. Does that make sense? Median. What is a median on the road? In the middle. Median is when a segment is coming from a corner to the midpoint of that side. So it's cutting the side in half. This is the median. Okay? Sunglasses off so you can see. Um, this is the median. Now, open up to the next flap. Proportional perimeters. This is the new part. Now, as you open this up, your paper, I think some of them are missing this part. I think it's in the, the fold. Yes, so is. just try to find a little bit of space to write it somewhere. Um, but I think that got um, put in fold, sorry. You know the warm-up was finding missing sites, right? And you set up a proportion and you cross-multiplied, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know the flip book we just did where we were finding the scale factor. You find the different sides and compare them. Um, remember the one over here where it had an X and a Y, you set it proportions, you cross, multiply, to solve, right? Okay, the new part involves perimeter. Do you remember what perimeter means? It is the distance around. The perimeter is the distance around. You can use scale factor to find a missing perimeter. So here's an example. You have two triangles. Now these are not drawn to scale, not at all. Because it doesn't make sense that the side that's measuring 20 looks to be the same length as the side measuring five. Not drawn to scale, okay? So we have these two pictures, right? We have altitudes drawn. You see the altitudes? Which Larger triangle, the outer triangle, do I know the perimeter of? The first one or the second one? The second one. 
What is the perimeter? I'm going to put a little sub number two for a second triangle. What is the perimeter around this? 19. What is the perimeter around ABC? Do I know it? I do not know it, but I can find it because I know the scale factor from here to here. What two sides correspond that you know? I know 20 and 5 go together. So set it up. 20 goes to 5 as the perimeter that I don't know goes to the perimeter that I do know. And cross multiply to solve. Uh, 20 times 19 is 380. This would be 5 times P1. Then I would divide by what? 5, what do you get? P1 equals 76. So the perimeter of triangle ABC is 76. Alright, you do this one. Do you know this perimeter? Do you know this one? No. What's the perimeter of the first one? 30 plus 40 is 70 plus 32 is 102. What's your anchor fraction? Meaning what two sides that you know both of them can you compare it to? You know 32 and 6. It may help you to get a highlighter to help you visualize your anchor fraction. Now I can see his face. All right, let's compare it. 32 compares to 6 as 102 compares to what we don't know, correct? Alright, cross multiply. So that's 32 times P2. 6 times 102 is 612. Divide by 32. It's an ugly decimal, but it'll work. Get that? I just wrote the whole thing. No biggie. Okay, last flap, please. Now we're going to look at when we're solving for X. Look at the very first one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That right there is not it, is it? Um, hold on. Go to. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Go to the very first one and solve for X. You're going to set up a proportion. Okay, now is it right? Okay. You're going to set up a proportion. Am I? Oh, I am, aren't I? I'll get it. It, it goes right here. It's three, right? I'll get it. Set up a proportion to cross, multiply, and solve. Remember the day that I showed you there are countless ways to set these up? There's countless ways to set these up. When the triangles are connected like this, you see how there's actually, there's, there's a ton of triangles here. There's not just your two. You got three here and three here. You might say, where did you see three? Where do I see the third one? The, the big outer one, right? One way to set it up without confusing your mind is just 20 goes to X as 5 goes to 4. That's one way to set it up. Negative your back three. Okay. So 14. 
one that was on C T. This one can be will actually this one can be seen today and will will not have to set up. And that's one oh seven will be that's one thirty eight. There will be a light don't pack up yet approximately one fifteen to four twenty. And your best changes for today. That's one fourteen will go to right. oh, fifteen. That's one oh seven. We'll have a light set up. Uh, it'll be that's one thirty eight. Next one, if you look at it, so these are medians, and when a median is drawn in the two triangles like this, um, with these angles that are congruent, we've got similar triangles. There's multiple ways to set it up. All of them um, would work as long as you're consistent. You could set it up. Since they're turned the same way, you could say 9 compares to 24 as x compares to 15. So you'll notice I'm going like this. That works. If you go that way, when you cross multiply, let's see, 9 times 15 is 135, that equals 24x. When you divide, you will get a decimal. 5.635 maybe. Let me double check that. One thirty five divided by twenty four. Five point six two five. Five point six two five. So this is a two. Now this one right here, you have to be careful. Um, 20 is the entire side of the outer triangle, right? Um, if you look at these numbers here, you want to compare. Notice that 6 is this side of the triangle and X is that side. Okay, so that means over here, we need to compare 8 to this side. But we don't know that side, but we can find it. Um, so, for instance, if this whole thing is 20 and this was 10, then this would be 10. But we don't know what it is. It's x, so we can write it as 20 minus x. And then now we can set it up. So 6 compares to x as 8 compares to 20 minus x. multiply. We're going to distribute. I'm going to add 6x over. And this one ends up being ugly. Um, it ends up being 60 over 7. Graphing calculator, obviously 
it as a fraction. You can hit the math fraction. These you have to watch out, so let's make a note. Watch out. You have to be careful here. Now the last one, these are mediums. You will notice that everything makes um, is you know comparable. You can say x minus 2 compares to 4 as 2x plus 3 compares to 10. Now this is the first time we've had a binomial in both fractions. They're grouped by parentheses. So the 10 is going to multiply to the front end of that, and the 4 is going to multiply to the front end of that. Now you do have to distribute. 10x minus 20 equals 8x plus 12. Now go back to your Algebra 1 skills. There are two sides of your equation. If you're going to move this one here, you've got to bring it over here. Then we're going to add 20 to the right. I'm running out of room. Add 20. And then divide by 2, and we get 16. I'm running out of room. 